See, luckily, all of our traditions are like, you know, done in the privacy of our own homes, right? Thank God. I could not imagine any of my non-Jewish friends following me around on Badikat Chametz night. <laughs> As I strategically place eight to 10 pieces of bread and then seconds later go on an extensive search for them. It would be a little embarrassing, you know? He'd be standing next to me, I'd be like... You see any? No, me neither. another one. Yeah, of course you do. You just put it there a minute ago. What are we doing here? This is crazy. And I don't want to have the, the conversations that you have to have with non-Jewish friends, right? Like, so you're doing this with the bread and everything. You, you, you guys are really uh, mad at bread, huh? It's like, oh yeah, you, you don't know the half of it. Livid. Livid. What did, uh, what did bread actually do to you? I think the real question is, what did it not do? Okay, it did not rise in a timely manner. All right, that's right. So that's it, we're done with bread. Finish. You do. What happened was the Egyptians, they were chasing after us and the bread, it just sat there, did nothing. Well, shouldn't you be, shouldn't you be mad at the uh, Egyptians? No, 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 no. Now, we focus all our anger on the fact that we couldn't make a sandwich. Okay. We're fine with the Egyptians. We made peace with Egypt, but bread will never forgive, ever. <laughs> 